Hello my friends, thanks for dropping by once again. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did a video, over two weeks now. Um, it took me a week to get over the London Book Fair after two sleepless nights. Uh, and then I haven't been asked since to do anything, so uh, here we are. Yeah, we're back today with a, with a book haul. Um, been reasonably busy since the since the book fair um, online and elsewhere so we'll uh, won't waste any more time we'll crack on shall we right um, this is the books I bought um, early early April since the uh, since the book fair late March okay um, now these are a couple that my um, Good friend, good pal Peter at West Coast Book Addict sent me a couple of duplicates he had. Um, I'm always up for anthologies. I used to read a lot. This is virtually unread, so yeah, that's a nice little uh, addition. I'm particularly pleased with this one because I've had uh, there are three of these, and I've had number one for quite a while now. I think there are three in the series, um, so yeah, means I just need number three again. It's um, in very nice shape, so another one that uh, I'm pleased to to add. Um, right, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, pick these up from my usual charity shop. Um, it's a dedicated book charity shop. Um, only had a couple in of any interest to me. One was another anthology, um, this time by Robert Silverberg, editor. Um, and there are stories in there about mutants. This looks like an earlier one, you know, 1977. I think that's a Peter Jones cover who I, who I like very much. Um, in fact, no. Or somebody else but um, yeah nice cover again in very very decent shape and then yeah I read this um, not too long ago ring world uh, that's one of the sequels I I don't know how many of these there were maybe three <coughs> anybody can tell me I haven't bothered to look it up um, I don't even know which we I think I think the Ringworld engineers I've got yeah so that was the second one so maybe this is the third one Another orbit book um, that one's a bit later of course um, um, well, where are we yeah that's um, that's a 1996 seven printing so that's a fairly contemporary in my book. But um, yeah, just a couple of quid, so I thought we'd pick that up. Now, um, now, I mean, where I live, there's only three dedicated bookshops within a oh, 10 to 12 mile radius. Um, and two of those are charity shops. Um, but the one uh, bookshop I went to, I did find a couple of nice items. Um, it was just a couple of days ago. Um, these were all four quid, which just notice that. Mm. Oh well, um, these were all four quid, but for books in that condition of this age, I, I don't think four quid is too bad. I mean, some of its prices are a bit out there, but. Um, yeah, now this is one, of course, this is one of the, um, what I call the miniature aces. I don't know. I don't know what size you would describe these at. Uh, I've no doubt Steve and the Outlaw bookseller can put me right on that one. I shall ask him. But, um, yeah, I, I tend to collect these minis, but there, there's so many of them. Um, you know, getting anything like a full set would be, would be a ridiculous task. Um, this one's mid-60s sometime, didn't say, 
but I estimate mid 60s anyway. But one of the nice thing about these is um, they all they're all from the 60s, uh, late 50s. I think they started, uh, but they've all got very nice artwork. Um, that one's by Kelly Fries. One of the Flandry of Terror and novels of which I'm uh, unaware because I've never read any. Right now, this one, um, this one I've bought, so I didn't notice that. A little bit of, um, I don't know whether it's on the book or it's actually been torn away from the book, I'll find out. Uh, but um, yeah, again, in nice condition. So, uh, I mean, I collect, I mean, I, obviously I collect to read books, <clears throat> but I collect mainly out of nostalgia. Because back in the 60s, 70s, I used to buy, I don't know, upwards of 50 books a week, um, at least. Um, and so sometimes when, when, you, when you've got that sort of nostalgia going on, um, you, you come across a book that for some reason say out of all the books I've bought just sort of pings in your mind and you go ah I remember that one um, very well and you, you you take yourself back to where you might have bought it um, but just certain books it happens with and that happens to be one of them I mean at the time uh, Paul Anderson was an author I'd never read um, I read Tower Zero recently but <clears throat> I'd never read that when I bought um, bought this back in the day so I was particularly pleased to get that one because, as I say, it just something just pinged in my head when I saw it online, and uh, the local guy happened to have a copy in. So, yeah, I was pleased with that one. And then the other one he had for four quid was one I've been trying to get hold of for a while. I've been trying to get hold of the um, of the Ballantine Del Rey edition, but American Del Rey Ballantine books are. Uh, quite scarce over here, so that's um, that's a Golanx classic um, Australia. I read I read the Planet by by Corbin Smith recently, and I was quite impressed. Uh, he didn't write too many books, uh, novels at least, so I was uh, pleased to get my hand on that one because it is in nice condition. Okay, I don't know what that one's doing there. Right, um, this was a couple of quid out of a local charity shop. Um, let's see the first four books. Now the the Earthsea I have is just the first three books, so I thought it was worth a punt. So it's um, it's unread. Well, it looks unread anyway. Yep. Um, well, that's a modern edition now I thought for a couple of quid it was um, it was nice so decided that two quid was well worth it right now we come to my little selection of, of door books that I picked up now uh, for anybody new to the channel I mean people that have watched <laughs> Any of my videos before on book hauls will know, uh, will probably know this chapter and verse, what I'm going to say now. But um, yeah, just a brief history of, of Door SF uh, books. Um, it started back in 72, 1972. Well, I have heard 1971, but I believe the first books um, actually published were 1972. And they were a, a series of, of books. I think they're still going now. Um, that dealt only in, in, in science fiction and fantasy. Uh, as I say, they, they've, they've, they've run for many, many years. And as far as I know, they're still, uh, still publishing. Um, but um, the reason, there's, there's a few reasons I collect these actually. A, because they have great nostalgic value to me. Because I remember collecting them and loving them. Uh, back in the 70s, um, especially the first 200, uh, which I had. Um, secondly, they're numbered, which, you know, for a collector is, uh, <laughs> is ideal uh, in terms of uh, completeness. 
Um, thirdly, because they have these lovely uh, yellow spines, which unfortunately get faded very easily um, over time. And um, the fourth reason is that a lot of the cover art is very, very nice indeed. And also they uh, actually credit the artist inside, which is very unusual um, for, for that time period at least. I know it happens more now, uh, but it was unusual for then. Uh, and I mean, I've got the lofty ambition of trying to collect all 580 of the yellow spines because they, that's when they finished. They went over to normal kind of paperbacks at 581. Um, it, it, as I say, it's a lofty ambition because it's become a, a really big area of collecting now for book collectors, um, both sides of the pond, um, and they're getting more expensive by the month, especially the earlier ones, which uh, I've kind of downgraded my ambitions a little little way, and I'm trying to get the first hundred um, as a complete set. I think I'm about 19 short, but um, I'm only about five short of the first 50, so, you know, it's a good start. So yeah, that's um, that's a little bit of history about Dora and why I collect them. So um, I bought these first eight of an online dealer, which will remain nameless. So I don't want anybody uh, running over and buying all the doors. Um, <laughs> a bit of um, a bit of evilness is is required sometimes. Um, so yeah. Anyway, these are the eight I bought of them. Um, and we got number 22. You don't see that one around too often. And uh, as I say, that's only slightly uh, faded. So I was quite happy with that, just a little crease down there. But as I say, you, you can't be too fussy with the early doors because they're getting so hard to find now. So I tend not to be over fussy about the um, the faded spines in particular. Although the yellow spines is one, one thing I love about them, especially when you see them like that, which is how they should be. But unfortunately they don't often turn up that way. Uh, this is number 30. This is one of the five green star books. Lovely cover out. I think that's um, I think it's Tim Kirk. Who's a very fine artist, did quite a few. Yeah, Tim Kirk it is. Lovely cover. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, the second one. Um, now this one, um, I actually... Number 37, I had to replace this because it's got an absolutely horrible... I don't know what's caused that. But there's no way that's going on my bookshelves. So I found somebody else that had a, a reasonably priced copy of that. And um, that's going to go in the doubles pile if anybody wants it. <laughs> right, now here's, um, here's one that ain't so easy to find. Um, the Lion Game by James Schmitz. Uh, this and the Telsey toy, which I also got, um, quite hard to find at any reasonable price. So that, that's what I mean about the fade on the spines. I mean, that, that's not as bad as some I've got, because at least you can see that, unfortunately, all the author's names are in red, which kind of tends to fade with the spine, but the, the black obviously doesn't. So sometimes you get a book that's so faded, you can't. You can't see the author there. But yeah, I was pleased to get that one. Uh, that's number 38, The Lion Game. And I would imagine that's Curly Freese. Nice little work. Okay, this is certainly Curly Freese. Uh, Spaceship for the King that is number 42. There again, you've got the fade, but you know, it's, it's manageable. I don't get too fussed, as I say. Um, and these these books of are quite uh, sometimes quite hard to find. There's quite a few of them. <clears throat> I did Book of Brian Aldis, Book of Philip Dick, 
uh, which is a hard one to find. I've already got it. Um, and again, so uh, yeah, that's number fifty-five. And there's an artist I recognise, but can't quite. Might be Tim Kirk again. And Cyborg's play. Cyborg's with a P, that's an interesting one. Um, that is number, cracking on a bit now, that's number 83. Uh, no, it's George Barr. Should have known that. Shame on me. Right, here's another Kelly Freese, and this, this, this one's quite hard to find. Dilsey Toy. Um, we're up to now 82. So. Interesting colour. And the last one I bought from. Uh, oh, that was, uh, that is, uh, yeah, that is 8 with the uh, with the dodgy one that I'm going to chuck out or do something with it anyway. Now, the next few um, are all in perfect condition. I bought them from the same guy on eBay <clears throat> and um, I had to wait for a couple to end. Uh, a few of them were by now. But a couple of them were on the bids, so I had to wait for those to end. And I got them, at a, you know, I didn't have to bid much over the, the top of the asking price. Uh, and then I got, obviously got a reduction on the postage. So this were, these were all off the same guy. Um, online, where are we? 573, so that's near the back end of the yellow spines. Now the artwork on, on the later ones weren't quite as spectacular, sadly. Uh, but when it went over to ordinary books, it got even worse. That's how, that's how the spine should be. I, mean, I have a lot of these later ones and they're all in that kind of condition. It seems to be the first hundred or so that I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to collect that <coughs> seem to get faded quicker. But um, yeah. I'm not keen on CJ Cherry, so probably will never get around to reading that one, which applies to most of the books I've got, actually. Um, that's one of the Jumerous of Terror books. Uh, the Zodiac. Again, the art's not so good there. Um, I don't know who's doing this kind of stuff. Oh, that's my friend George Barr again, but it certainly doesn't look... Anything like the quality of his early stuff. Um, yeah, there, there were quite a few of these numerous books. That's number 163. It would have load, loads more. Okay, came after that. I'm still missing uh, three or four of them. And then we have a later one, uh, 369, uh, John, Bar uh, John Brunner. And the curry that covers a bit better. Again, absolutely mint. I mean, I mean, you know, as I've said many, many, many times before on the channel, I'm not, I'm not a big, uh, I'm not one who fusses over condition too much, because um, I collect, as I say, for nostalgia, and uh, I, I remember buying, you know, tatty books back in the day, so it don't bother me too much. But it isn't, when you're collecting a certain uh, run of books, it is nice to have them all in in nice condition. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just take a little glug here because <clears throat> when I've been talking a bit, I tend to lose my voice. But um, right now, this uh, popular series, I haven't got the rest of them, The Faded Sun. Kesrith one, uh, number 300. Again, absolutely spotless. I mean, these only, these only came out. I mean, there were various prices, but I think the average of them all was about just over six quid, which, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all for, for mint condition doors. Quite happy to pay it, in fact. <laughs> um, I've paid a lot more, let's put it that way. Right, here's one by Jack Vance. His books are tricky. 
Some of his books are tricky to find. Uh, this is one of the later ones, 309. Uh, one of the demon princes. I think there were six of those, of which that is two. Again, oh, just absolutely perfect. I mean, it's a real joy buying stuff online that, that are in this sort of condition. <clears throat> the thing is, you you've got to watch. You've got to watch out for for books online because you need a lot of pictures to really get a feel of the condition, you know. And this guy put up a load of pictures, so I had no worries. As soon as I saw the spine, <coughs> I thought, okay, I'll have them. So it's that, and then another nice uh, Jack Vance. That's the fifth of the Demon Princes. I think I've got them all by one. Um, that's a later one, 416. Again, absolutely perfect. Lovely jubbly. And another humorist. That's uh, very late in the run, 479. As you can see, we're up to 26 by now. So there's quite a few of them again. I'm not fussed about that cover at all. Yeah, and finally another uh, CJ Cherry. This one's got a fancy embossed cover in silver. And you'll notice that as opposed to 99.9% .9 of the door books, that one's got a yellow number or number box. And that one's got a white. So there were very few of these. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I'll have to look it up. But again, absolutely beautiful. Right, so that was all the ones I bought from the chappy online. I'm, uh, I've got so I've got him saved just in case he gets any more in like that. So. And this one was the um, the one that I had the horrible spine for. That's a, a replacement copy. So it's still faded, but you can see it at least. It's nowhere near as bad as the as the original one. And then from Barter, uh, no, sorry, not Barter Books. <laughs> That's up here somewhere. Uh, from Ava Books. Um, I got that one, Sleepwalk of the World, which is one of the early ones, 28. Kelly Freese again. Kelly Freese did a lot of the early ones. So, yeah, that was my little uh, little haul. Particularly pleased with the doors. Um, I think with the, with the next, um, I'll say there's 580 of them, with my next shipment... Plus another shipment that I have already marked down for when I get some more money. <laughs> Expensive business. <coughs> These doors. Um, I'll be I'll be crawling towards four hundred out of the five eighty, which uh, which ain't bad because I've only been doing it for well, about a year and a half, two years tops. So, uh, but as I say, now they're getting more expensive. It's uh, it's getting harder and harder. So wish me luck. Anyway, that was uh, that was that. Um, I've got another video in mind which uh, will probably be along uh, quite shortly and then of course there'll be the end of the month book haul uh, hopefully I'll have some more by then so once again thank you very much for watching, subscribing sharing, whatever you do I still want more comments please if you wouldn't mind but until uh, next time uh, I'll see you bye bye now